I absolutely love Pokemon Home because it adds a ton of amazing benefits to the main Pokemon games that we've never had before. Whether you're a hardcore VGC player, shiny hunter, or just a lover of the Pokemon games, if you're still not fully utilizing Pokemon Home, you're definitely going to want to stick around. What's up, y'all? Mr. Dr. Professor Titan here, back with another video to help you enhance your Pokemon adventure. In today's video, we'll be highlighting the best Pokemon Home tips in regards to the Scarlet and Violet DLC. We'll touch on ways you can earn in-game currency for Scarlet and Violet from Pokemon Home, along with ways where you can ensure you're not trading away any of your special Pokemon. And if you don't mind subscribing to the channel, we're almost at a thousand subscribers and I truly appreciate every single one of you. We're just gonna keep rocking and rolling, popping out new Pokemon videos every week, including guides, fun playthroughs, and TCG unboxings. So any support is greatly appreciated. And now let's get after it. First things first, some crucial info for any fellow Pokemon master out there trying to complete the full Pokedex in home to acquire the exclusive Magearna gift Pokemon. Recall that the only way to get this special form Magearna is to complete the entire Pokedex in Pokemon Home. But that's actually not true. With the DLC, with Scarlet and Violet, even with Legends Arceus and the Sword and Shield DLC, all these Pokemon introduced past Eternatus, which I believe is number 890. You do not need to catch those Pokemon to get Magearna. Ever since the release of this event Magearna, the Pokemon company has never actually updated the requirements you need past Eternatus. So that's pretty clutch. If you're still trying to achieve the full Pokedex in home, make sure you don't really prioritize the DLC Pokemon that come out in the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc, but make sure you prioritize any mythicals such as Marshadow. You'll need a regular Magearna as well, Poipole, etc. These are the Pokemon that I found to be the hardest ones to acquire when achieving my Magearna personally. This next one is absolutely huge for the DLC, whether you're team building for VGC competitive battling, or if you just wanna see which Pokemon are the most powerful in the games. If you access Pokemon Home on your mobile device, rest assured, if you don't know how to connect your Switch and your mobile Pokemon Home, I've got a video for that. Make sure you check it out in the bio below. I've got it linked there. But if you access the main menu in the mobile device and then go to battle data, you can see ranked battles and then view past battle records. If you click into ranked battles, this will show you all the current best Pokemon for singles and double competitive battling in Scarlet and Violet. All you gotta do is click into which season you wanna check out specifically. I don't do single battles, so let's see which single battle Pokemon are the best. And then if you click on Pokemon ranking, of course, Dragonite number one without a doubt. Dragon Pokemon are my favorite. You can see which top 10 Pokemon are seen in battle with this Pokemon. You can see which its top TMs are. You can see which abilities it has nature, items it holds, and even Terra types. It also shows you the top 10 Pokemon that these Pokemon beat, along with the Pokemon that defeat them in battle. This is super slick. This is also super clutch for the DLC because you'll be able to view which Pokemon from past games that are returning in the Teal Mask and Indigo Disc to see how they are best utilized. Just click into view past battle records and then rank battles to see the past seasons for Sword and Shield. Choose a specific season that you wanna check out and then you can choose single or double battles, and then the Pokemon ranking will show you the list of Pokemon for which are best. Of course, Incineroar will be coming back, so we'll be seeing a lot of them again. And if you wanna check out moves, abilities, natures, items, and then the victories and defeats of that Pokemon, you can all check it out in the mobile version of Home. Next up, let's take a look at how you can earn in-game currency for Scarlet and Violet through Pokemon Home. So all you gotta do is access Pokemon Home via your Switch, and then go down to the point options here. You see at the top, I've got 29,290 points and you get one point for every 31 Pokemon you have stored in Pokemon Home every single day. From there, one point is equal to 10 League points in Scarlet and Violet, which is pretty much equivalent to Poke Dollars. And so all you gotta do is pop in the amount that you wanna switch over to LP, 29,000 and then 290 here, bam, green eggs and ham, pop that. And then it will automatically convert to 29,000 LP. Saves, and then goes to your game. Wow, voila, amazing. With the Scarlet and Violet DLC, you'll definitely be moving a lot of Pokemon in and out of Pokemon Home from your games. But make sure you favorite Pokemon because you don't wanna accidentally trade them away, especially if you do wonder trades via home. Just click into the Pokemon that you wanna favorite, and then there'll be a star at the top right of the screen on the mobile version of home. This is not able to be done on the Switch. 
From there, I actually tested to see if favoriting of a Pokemon in home and then transferring it to your games and then back to home keeps it as a favorite, but this actually does not. So make sure if you move a Pokemon to and from home to always favorite it once it's back in home so that you never lose that Pokemon. Thanks so much for watching the video. I truly hope that you learned something new. Again, if you don't mind, please support the channel by leaving a like, subscribing to the channel at Mr. Dr. Professor Titan. I'll be popping out new Pokemon videos every single week. So make sure to stay tuned and maybe you'll learn something new. Thanks so much.